Bodybuilding has a toxic culture. Whether it's consuming insane amounts of empty calories and cheap meals to rampant drug usage. How many people have died in the past two years that are prominent people? Rich Piana, Dallas McCarver, probably half a dozen other people I can't remember off the top of my head. Just unrealistic expectations, spending two hours a day in the gym, hurting themselves, injuring themselves. Every aspect of bodybuilding culture is negative. And you know, it took me an objective perspective from the outside after experiencing it firsthand to understand why these things are so wrong. I mean, it could be as silly as one person separating an egg yolk from an egg white or slicing chicken breast off of a whole chicken to someone who's had, who's torn their quad three times and still tries to do heavy squats. There's various levels of ridiculousness. I mean, uh, did you, were you guys ever into, like, do you guys know about Ziz and that whole, like, aesthetics crew? Uh, that's when I was, like, when I was lifting weights, they were really popular. And, I mean, there are plenty of people like Jeff Side and John Skywalker that became really successful out of that aesthetics movement. And the idea to look good and be happy and healthy is great, but the conventional wisdom we use to guide ourselves there is very far from what's actually healthy and a proper way to do it. So I guess I should go into my, I guess, you know, one other thing to talk about is like a lot of things they do are with good intentions, but they're not healthy. You know, they think chicken, rice, and broccoli is healthy, but those aren't nutrient dense foods. They think lifting weights like heavy, heavy weight is going to get you bigger and more muscular where volume and eccentric movements have more of an effect on that. You know, they think that putting on spray tan in, in front of a competition is better for you than going in the sun and getting a natural tan. There's just so many contradictory aspects of this bodybuilding lifestyle. And I started when I was 15 or 16. Uh, I was really into dirty bulk. So my weightlifting routine did change over the course of a few years, but I'm not going to go into that. It's too much detail for one video. Uh, but in regards to my diet, I went from eating like dirty bulking McDonald's every other day pretty much to I cleaned it up a little bit, you know, I thought peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and on whole wheat bread and oat shakes with peanut butter and milk and whey protein was clean. Oh uh, god, I had such terrible acne. And eventually I cleaned it up to an actual reasonable extent. I was doing pretty much paleo. You know, eating a lot of chicken, sweet potatoes, brown rice, broccoli, spinach, green beans, walnuts, almonds, apples, fruits. What most people would consider a very healthy conventional diet. And I still felt terrible. I had no energy. You know, spending two hours a day in the gym, I was unhappy with my life situation. I said, you know what? Let me pursue my health. And at that point, when I started pursuing my health over, you know, six years ago now, that's when everything in my life changed for the better in regards to, you know, I stopped playing video games. I started pursuing career opportunities. Well, I won't say career opportunities, but I started getting a job. I uh, started being more successful in general when I pursued that health journey. And keep in mind, guys, at the time, fitness was not popular. Like... When I was working out, the only people that were in the gym were gym rats and stuff. So uh, when I, you know, 2015, when I was on the carnivore diet for about two, three years now, uh, at that point, I was like, man, maybe I should get back into fitness. If I rode this train, I would have already been at 90, 95% of my natural potential. I could have marketed myself a lot better. So I said, hey, let me work out for like four or five months. And uh, I trained on a raw meat diet for about five months before this physique competition. I was originally like 190 pounds when I quit bodybuilding and I was all the way down to like 135 after not weightlifting for a while and eating so little and I went back up to about 160 uh, in these four months of training and then my prep before the show was actually, I just fasted for a week and I was flat as hell because I didn't eat before prejudging but I looked pretty good on stage at night. So the lessons I learned from that contest prep was you can gain muscle and weight on a raw meat diet. I was consuming two to three pounds of raw meat a day, as well as about a pound of butter per day. Uh, I had to take an antihistamine to tolerate the butter, but uh, the other thing I learned was my frame size is not, like I'm nowhere near the size of those other guys. Those other natural guys are 180, 190 pounds and similar musculature, but my frame is just so much smaller that I look good by myself. And I just never really wanted to do drugs. I've never done any drugs. I've never taken any performance enhancing drugs. That's always been an aspect of me that I, you know, I just, I really just don't want to lose my hair, to be honest. And the other funny thing is my tan on that stage is actually a natural tan. And I was pretty much as, I was dark as hell, man. But I was almost as dark as, like the other people on stage were way darker than me because of the, the spray tan and stuff. But uh, I guess I kind of touched on that. And then now all I do is really, uh, you know, I stopped weightlifting for a couple years. And now all I really do is I go for a run. I do some... 
uh, you know, maybe some rows and stuff here and there, some glute exercises, some core exercises to work on muscular imbalances. But for the most part, I don't lift weights anymore. And the reason you guys might be saying, oh, Frank, you've been lifting weights lately. I literally did three kettlebell workouts and I got these terrible stretch marks on my arms and I got all pumped up and muscle memory is a very strong thing, guys. Um, I used to have 17, 17 and a half inch arms when I was bodybuilding. Then they went down to like 14 and a half inches when I was sedentary. And then just in a span of like four or five months, they went back up to 16. So muscle memory is real. Like it's, it's an amazing thing that I kind of took advantage of. But now what happens is even if I do one little workout with kettlebells, I get terrible, terrible stretch marks on my arms because my muscles go back to the size they were. Or at least they grow very quickly in comparison to how they used to. So if you guys are wondering why I'm shirtless, I've had people like tell me, oh, Frank, you're skinny. Why are you giving people fitness advice? I'm like... Don't I look pretty good for a guy that doesn't really work out anymore? And especially considering most people are not as muscular as me. You know, even a fit, healthy, in shape, beach body person, I tend to have a little bit more muscle than they do. And I mean, I, I, I used to look ridiculous, guys, like 100%. But uh, I think I've touched on everything I've wanted to in regards to bodybuilding, being a toxic culture, my past experiences. I didn't really want to give away my routine history or anything. Uh, I just don't want to, you know, I usually sell fitness consultations. And I personally believe that my routine and what I do is the optimal routine just for like muscular hypertrophy. This is just a very, very high volume routine uh, that I achieve. But, you know, I, I've literally never seen anyone else do a workout routine like I have. Maybe there's some new guys doing it now, but uh, and some things that are fairly close to it, but n nothing specific exactly. So I didn't want to give that away, guys. But tomorrow I'll talk about how to gain weight on a carnivore diet, and I'll go more into detail about how to do those things. Uh, basically, you know, incorporating resistance training, and uh, you know, you don't have to stuff your face, you don't have to do this, you don't have to, you don't need carbs. The, you know, I'll, I'll explain it for you guys tomorrow. But if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some Master Chef related stuff. I know I told the story in my live stream, but I gotta show the recipe because I might audition again for the show, and I haven't even told a lot of you guys how I did last season because I deleted the video. Uh, when I was upset. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if there's any other videos you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, I will not be sharing my workout routine, sorry guys, but uh, anything outside of that, just let me know.